episode 23. And first of all, I would like to give a shout out to all my TikTokers and all my Instagrammers and all my Twitterers. Twitterers. Uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, this is going up on my social media, so uh, yeah, we're going to be smoking on some Camel Crush menthols. So let's grab my keys and my lighter. And let's get started. This is, a, this is an ASMR video. If you couldn't tell. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing I'm doing okay. I worked today and I have a funny story about me working. Um, so, <clears throat> as you may or may not know, I'm an independent contractor. And what that means is I work for DoorDash making deliveries. I got my first contract violation today. Yes, I'll repeat that. Contract violation. So basically they said I didn't do my job properly. So what happened was, so I get this order, right? And the order has an address. Every order has an address to go to. Well, this order had this order had the address to go to, but in the notes for the delivery it said, "Don't deliver to this address. That's my work address. Deliver to my home. This is my home address." So without thinking about it, I just go straight to their home address. Just plug it into my GPS and go to their home address. So I get, I get to their house, and of course nobody's home. And it looks like nobody's home now at this point. Granted, I should have called somebody, and I should have called them and asked them where they were. But stupid me, I just left the food there and left. And then they reported, basically it's a long story short, they reported it to DoorDash as undelivered. And I even told DoorDash my side of the story. I told them they wanted me to go to the house and not the address that was given to them. So I, you know, whatever. So I got a contract violation. I'm still working for DoorDash, but I think if you get six violations, then they deactivate you. Anyway, let's light the cigarette. So yeah, that was my day at work today. And in even more exciting news, I'm getting a kitten tomorrow. Yes, a kitten. Uh, I'm going to name her Marcy. And she's six weeks old. And she's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Well... I don't know, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, the most adorable thing I've ever seen. She's a kitten, you know, a little kitty cat. And I'm really excited about it. I haven't had I haven't had a cat or an animal that I can call my own in over three years. So I'm excited to share my love with an animal. Um, I'm picking her up tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And hopefully everything goes according to plan. Because last time I tried to get a cat, uh, the cat got sold before I could get there. But I told this lady to, specific, to specifically save the cat for me. And she said that she would. So, I'm pretty hopeful that I'm going to 
get this cat. What sucks about it though, is I have to pay a $300 pet deposit to my apartment complex. Because, yeah, that's a thing. 300 bucks to have an animal in my apartment, what a rip off. But oh well, it's worth it. I'm gonna finally have some company. I won't be so alone all the time. So yeah, that was my day. Let the car go by. Um, I posted a video today and the audio sucked. I don't know why I can't get my audio levels straight on my videos, but the audio levels sucked on the video that I posted today, so I'm a little bummed about that, but and I just got back from a vacation. I went to Idaho to see my family, to see my sister mainly, and we recorded a video together, so go check that out. It's My Little Misfortune, episode two. Um, I recorded that with my sister, so that's good. Uh, yeah, that was fun. We mainly just hung out, watched TV, watched Netflix, or streamed stuff, or whatever, it's not really TV anymore these days. It's it's all online. It's all internet. But yeah, I'm I'm feeling like okay. I'm feeling okay mentally. The problem is, man, I just can't. I have intrusive thoughts, and I can't get these intrusive thoughts out of my head. And sometimes these intrusive thoughts, they manifest in, like, other people's voices. So it's as if another person is talking to me. And, I mean, I know logically. Hold on. I know logically that there isn't someone in my head talking to me, but I can't help but interpret these intrusive thoughts as voices. And I've been diagnosed, <clears throat> I've been diagnosed as schizoaffective by several different people. And I would say it's a pretty accurate diagnosis. But it's not a fun thing to have. I'm really, uh, it really puts a damper on my day. Now my medicine, <clears throat> my medicine does help with the intrusive thoughts. And that's good, but the problem is my medicine runs out. And yeah, that's a whole other issue with my medicine and all the things, yeah, all the things that I do with it, lol. No, um, I don't know. I, I'm on this cycle where half the week I'm taking my medicine and the other half I'm not. And the half that I'm not taking, the half week that I'm not taking my medicine, uh, my week pretty much sucks. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody. And I just want to sleep all day. And. It just sucks. I don't know. If you deal with mental illness. In any form or fashion. Leave it in the comments below. If you don't mind. Sharing. I know. It's a sensitive topic for a lot of people, and quite frankly, I don't mind. I guess.
guess I'm at the point in my YouTube career where I don't mind sharing, you know, parts about myself with people online because there's not very many people who watch my videos anyway. But my last, uh, not my last smoking video, but the one before last got a ton of views for me. It got, it has 70 views so far and that's a lot for my channel I mean I'm happy if I get 20 views on a video but to get 70 that was quite a boost Let's take the last puff of the cigarette. That's two puffs. I will put the cigarette out. And I'm going to walk back to my apartment with you guys. Another thing that I've been meaning to bring up on my channel um, and maybe I don't know I don't know if this is the right time to bring up to bring it up but I'll vaguely refer to it I think part of the reason why I have intrusive thoughts is I grew up in a very strict religious household and I grew up believing in God and believing that I could communicate with a, with a God telepathic, telepathically through prayer and other things. And if you grew up religious, now this is what I really want to know. If you grew up religious or believing in God, uh, leave it in the comments too if you want. If you want, you don't have to. But, uh, yeah, I grew up. So I think, I mean, I don't want to, I'm not going to get into all the nitty gritty details of, of my religious upbringing, but basically, of thoughts or these voices are what I in the past have interpreted to communicating with a higher power or with God or with the Holy Spirit or you know different things like that now I'm a staunch atheist these days so I don't believe in any of that crap now but it's just another thing to think about, another thing to consider. Anyway, I guess I'm going to leave it on that note. Thank you all so much for listening. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or don't. I don't give a shit, and I'll see you all in the next one.